Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, welcome to another video in MC Science. In today's video, I want to show you how to make this melting text effect in Photopia. But before we get into this video, consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video. Now without further ado, let's jump into this tutorial. Before we get into Photopia, I'm going to be using a dust texture from Freepik. So if you want, you can choose one of these. And yeah. But now, once we're in our new document, press Ctrl and V to paste texture and if your texture is like a bit larger than your document just go on the crop tool and make sure delete crop pixels on and then press on the tick now press T to get our text tool out and write out your text I'm going to be writing melting since this is basically a melting effect and the font I'm using is Bevis Near but if you want to you can use like something like bold which will look good with this effect I'm going to quickly change the exposure like this just you know put on exposure mess down mess around with the offset yeah something like this will be okay now once we've done that i'm gonna press ctrl and j to duplicate our text layer and then press ctrl and t to go and transform and then right click and then press flip vertically and then take it down to the bottom and then while holding shift i'm gonna stretch this out to align with the top text layer like so and then Go to the copy of the text here, right click on it, and press rasterize. And then after we're going to go to filter, blur, and motion blur. I'm just going to put the angle at like 90. And then I'm going to change the distance to around like this. Just eye it out. And then once we're done that, select on your copy layer and while holding chef, select on the, the original layer and press Ctrl and E to merge the layers. And then get out your smudge tool which is right here or if you can't see it right click it and then yeah and then go up here to change your stroke size and leave the hardness on zero and then once you've done that just slowly smudge your text layer to make it look like it's melting by the way your computer might be lagging but that's normal and then and then i'm gonna make my brush a bit smaller then just I'm just gonna distort the top layer as well a little bit not too much but just a little bit to make it a little bit better and then once you've done that duplicate our layer twice by press ctrl j like so and then once you've done that go to the second second layer and turn off the the red and green channels and then go on the third one and then just turn off the green one like so and then I'm gonna go on the my select cursor I'm gonna move the layer a little bit by using the arrow keys to make the effect like distorted so just like a just like a if i zoom in you can see there's a little bit blue like that just a sub sub subtile subtle effect whatever that word is to make the text like second and then after once you've done that go to from the top layer while holding shift and select the last layer and press ctrl e to merge it again and as you can see it just made a little bit pinkish but don't worry if you want to change the color, I'm going to show you later on. And then, with this layer, I'm going to put it on color dodge. Jesus. That's off. To make it like, bear mad. But don't worry, just process and press control. Oh, oh, what the? Yeah, duplicate your layer again. And for this layer, put on pin light. And if you want to, you can put the opacity down. Like, make it like, a bit more greeny. And yeah. And then, once we've done that, I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to press B to get my brush tool out and then just put the size quite big and sample a color using an eyedropper tool which is eye to sample a color like this and just dab on the corner like so and if you want to make the color darker by like go like this just a little bit and then after I'm going to change the blending mode to screen and then I'm going to put the opacity down to like like let's see I'm just going to eye it out stuff like this is cool and then once you've done that, I'm going to go down here, new adjustment layer, and then I'm going to add it here in saturation. Then I'm going to put my saturation up, like you can change the color to whatever, you can mess around with saturation as well. Leave it like, something like this, like a purplish color. And then once we've done that, you can leave it like this, but if you want to make it like, make the whole image like more grainy, and then select these three layers, I'm going to make a folder like that. And then after I'm going to select on the top layer of the text. I'm going to go to filter and then noise and add noise 
and then this just makes it a bit more grainier and we'll put on monochromatic and press ok and if you want to you can put it on the the, the paintbrush tabs we did earlier and what's cool and I just, just uh, I just uh, move the hue saturation a bit more to make it a bit more purplish and yeah that's it for this tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next video inshallah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh